Okay, shalom everybody. I'm going to show you how to use and make a transparent background with GIMP. Here's another example of why a uh, transparent background is useful. Usually when you're dealing with an image, right, it has a, it's a square or rectangle. Well, wouldn't it be nice if you could move it around without having to look at the background. So if you are on the internet looking for images, uh, you can find a lot of transparent background images that are already there. Uh, or if you're really comfortable with it, you get used to it, you can make your own with GIMP. So, all right, have lots of fun because you can, you can do all types of fun stuff, right? You know what? Let me, well, maybe not. Be cute about it, right? There you go. There you go. Right there. Okay. Okay. Well, shalom, everybody. I, the last video I made was about, uh, making transparent, or, uh, making custom emojis in Discord. And this one is going to be about kind of doing the same thing but if you here's an example if you want a custom emoji in discord very easy to do uh click a few buttons and then you get your uh emoji but if you want something that is like a cutout right That's something other than just square uh, the trick to that is a transparent background. So this is actually a square image. As, as far as your computer knows, it's a square image. It's just that the background is transparent, which tells it, oh, you want to see what's behind the image. Which in this case, because I have dark mode turned on, it is uh, black. Um, and here, let me just show you what happens. If I go down to user settings... I can actually switch from dark mode to light mode. Okay, so user settings, not the server settings. If you have your own server, which you should if you're doing custom emojis, uh, not the server settings, but your user settings. Go down to where it says appearance and app settings. Yeah, cares mud, right? That is so many buttons. Uh, and so you, right now I have dark theme on. Ready for this? Bright light! Whoa! Okay, so and to do that? Okay. Um, yeah, so now you see my little deputy dog guy down here. He's... You can see the background behind him. Or the... the whatever you call it behind him. Because the square uh, is still there. It's just transparent background. Alright, so I want to be able to... Let me turn that back on to dark because I it's killing me. Okay, appearance. Yeah, yeah appearance. Oh, okay, much better. Escape. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add another custom emoji. Uh, I already added this one. Added some little clouds. I was playing around in GIMP. Um, but right now, uh, I don't have any files open in GIMP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make one for Anka, but I'm only going to put it on my server because I can share the file to her, but um, I can't post it. I don't have Discord Nitro, so I can't post it in her server, which is fine. It's $10 a month and I'm, I'm a cheapskate, so, uh, but okay. So I, I searched for Martini. And I'm on images. If you go to all, it shows you all the websites. Um, images shows you images. And then I clicked on one of those images and it gave me this kind of a blow up. Uh, if you click on X, it takes you back to the all the images. Don't use the back button because that's actually telling it like you want to go back to the previous thing you were looking at, which is not what you want. You just want to close that off and then you can keep scrolling or actually you can just leave it there right see just disappears okay so i'm gonna okay so back to what i'm gonna do i'm going to make a custom emoji which i already did but this one is going to be 
uh, with a transparent background. So let me go ahead, I'm going to right click on this image. Um, there's a few ways you can do this, but I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. So copy image. I'm going to copy and paste it into GIMP. Now let's see if I'm doing this right, if I can remember. Yes. Okay, so I want to go edit, paste as, new image. Okay, now if you already have an alpha channel, well, I'm sorry, let me back up. I kind of explained alpha channel when I was talking to myself, but I haven't really gone over that. So basically the trick to getting a transparent background is having an alpha channel. What that means is basically, um, think about it like your, like your, oh, like your easel without anything, without a canvas, without anything, or like your desk or whatever you're going to do your artwork on. So your alpha channel is like nothing at all. So this, the key to getting a transparent background is to have an alpha channel. So here we have, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on layer. And if you go down to transparency, it'll tell you about the transparency of that layer. Let me just click off that real quick. If you're looking at GIMP for the first time, this can be a, a quite confusing, but it works a lot like Photoshop where you have different layers and it's actually very powerful for something that's free. It's man, it does a lot for me. Uh, but anyway, if you're, uh, if you go to layer transparency, you can see here, it says remove alpha channel. Now, if I do that, I just removed alpha channel. Well, what does that mean? It just looks the same, right? Well, um, imagine that you have a canvas. Well, now I have no like transparent background because I just removed my, let's say my easel or my desk or whatever it is, my blank desk. Usually when you go to paste images, just like I did with edit paste uh, as new image, you don't have a transparent background. And you'll know that because if you go up to here to layer and go to transparency, it will say add alpha channel. It'll look like that. Okay. So I just kind of finagled it <clears throat> to where it looks like that because I had to remove the alpha channel. Well, now I can just add it back. Okay. Usually, uh, when you're pasting in, that's the first step is to, uh, once you've pasted it in, you want to go down to, you want to go to layer, go down to transparency and add alpha channel. Okay. Now I have my, I have the ability to remove, to cut all this out. And what's really nice is I'm going to be able to use it as a custom emoji. And instead of it being like a, just an old square, it'll be the shape of the object. All right, let me see. There's a, quite a few tools up here. Uh, this one right here is the fuzzy select tool and it's, I use it all the time. It's like my go-to. All right. So I just, I want to get rid of all this white. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Well, how convenient. It's going to actually select everything that's white. Uh, notice it also selected some of this, which is in the glass itself. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not being too picky right now, but once I delete that, you'll be able to see through it and you'll see the background. Okay, so go ahead and click on delete. Hit the delete key. Okay, so you'll see this checkerboard. That's your, uh, what's called your alpha channel. Basically your easel or your desk or whatever. It's nothing. That's what it is. You're looking at nothing. That's basically the key to making your uh, custom emoji not just be a simple square but the shape of the object. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, there's just a few steps, and it just takes some getting used to, but it's pretty... Don't, don't remove off the channel. Don't do that. Don't do that. Once you've set it all up, don't do that. Uh, but basically, it's just pretty simple. Okay, so now I just made an image that has a transparent background. Okay, now what? How do I get it into my Discord? Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with that. We're going to want to file export. Uh, export as and export, in this case, is pretty much the same thing. What you don't want to do is save or save as, because it doesn't give you the option 
uh, that I'm fixing to show you. Okay, so um, so export. All right. Notice the file extension up here. This is what I was fixing to show you. You do not get this. If you say save as, you don't get the option to save as PNG. Uh, because what you're doing, let me hope, go ahead and close this. What you're doing, if you say file save as, okay, you're actually saving the GIMP file, which is an XCF extension. Okay, so you're saving all the layers and all the information, uh, what kind of selection, all types of information, what's selected, even that little dancing uh, marching ants line, that will still be there in your file. Okay, so you don't want to do that. Do not save as. Unless, unless you want to. If you get used to it, you'll be saving as, okay? All right, but I want to export as, or export. In this case, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so if I export, then I get this PNG extension. Okay, that's what I really want. I'm going to call it Martini. Um, okay, and then I'm going to put it in my folder. And let's make sure I put it in the right folder. I want to make sure I can find it. Okay, now... Um, I'm going to have to do this all over again because I have to change the name of that folder. God dang it, I'll figure this out one of these days. No. Discard changes. Stop what you're doing. Go change the name of that folder. Thank you. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Mother of Pearl. Okay, I'm going to click your uh, recorder's recording. No. All right, um, I had a little glitch there, trying not to dox myself or other family members. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so now I have finally gotten my file to, uh, I saved my file, uh, which like I said, it was a transparent background PNG. So unlike this little square here, it has a transparent background like this one up here. All right, well, let's go ahead and I'm going to put, go ahead and upload it. So, um, that's general chat, by the way. Uh, let's see, and it was called, what did I call it? I called it general chat's hat. No, I called it martini. There it is. Okay. Oh, well, it says that my emoji is too big. 256K is the limit. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this then. I can reopen it and downsize it. So let me... Actually, it takes forever. Okay, uh, let me see here. Image, I'm going to have to resize this. So I want to go down to canvas size and adjust the image dimensions. That way it's um, it'll be smaller. And actually, if I just want to look, go down here to image properties. Okay, now it tells you size and pixels, 2,059. It's a big picture, right? Okay, resolution, uh-huh. But look at that file size. 1.3 megabytes. So my Discord limit was 256K. So do the math. That's like a third or something, right? But remember, you're dealing with the two-dimensional thing, so I do have to size it down. I'm just not sure how much. Size of memory, yada, yada, yada. 71? Oh my goodness. Anyway, don't worry about all this other stuff. That's just more memory information. Oh, to scale it down. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong tab. This is the image tab. And I want to go down here to uh, Yeah, I want to scale image. Okay, so it is Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me 
what I want to know is, is it going to be below 256k once I'm done? So I kind of have to use my imagination. So let's see. Right now it's 1.3 megabytes, which is 13, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 1300 kilobytes, right? Okay, so if I want that down to 256, what's the ratio? It's like three, four, it's like almost four times as much, right? As it, or no, more than four times as much. So whatever. See, I told you I can't do math. Okay. Um, so four times as much, but remember, this is two dimensional. So let me just see what we got. Let me just try it because I'm, I'm being lazy. I don't want to do math. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now, what is it? It was 2000 before, and now it's at 607. So that's a fourth. Okay. All right, let's just keep it right at 100. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and scale that down. So it's still the same. It's still a transparent image. It's just smaller. Um, I want to go ahead and export it again. Uh, since I have that file closed, I don't have it open anywhere else. I can just write over it. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Export. Oh, well, how convenient. Yes, export to martini.jpg. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Oh, okay. Yes, I read that wrong. I can't see. Yeah, the, I thought it said JPEG. I was like, what are you trying to tell me to do? Okay, so I should be good to go. I'm not sure. Okay, but hold on. Let me check before I exit. Let's see what we got now. Oh, okay. 154K. Alrighty. Let me close that. I think I'm done. I, I'm, I'm going to take a gamble. I think I'm done with GIMP. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, this right here. It will go away. All my hard work will go away once I close this. So I do have it exported to a, a PNG with a transparent background. But all this layer information, I mean I only have one layer, but it will it will not be saved if you have a PNG. Um, but let me just go ahead and, yeah, we're, we're good. Okay, let's try it again. Now before it was... Okay, so so before it was too big, and now it's probably the right size. Okay. All right, well, it, it, it works, right? Because it was 156K, and the limit is 256. Okay. All right, so remember your name of your emoji, and now you can use it right here in your chat. And if you have discord nitro you can paste it in somebody else's chat i might just do that just so i can paste it in anka's server and go like hey cheers so anyway um let me know what you think if there's any uh questions you have because there's actually some really good videos on this i'll try to find one and uh send a link or something but this is, it's a real simple process. Once you get used to it, it takes a little practice, but you'll be making custom emojis left and right if that's what you want to do. All right, y'all have a great day. Shalom.